About the other night, Mr. Bronson and Mrs. Hilgren Bronson, I take full responsibility for what happened. I'm glad you admit you overreacted. You got a little paternal and ruined the kid's night. What? I, I don't think you understand what the problem was, Mr. Bronson. Please, call me McB. Would you like an apple martini? Oh, well, that would be lovely. We used to be disciplinarians, but every time we made some rule or set some limit, we'd just start laughing. <laughs> I mean, who are we kidding? <laughs> Hair the dog. Oh! Oh, uh, you're in for a treat. My son makes the best teenies. Peggy, call the police. Michael, I'd like you to meet the Hills. Call them Hank and Peggy. By the way, love the glasses on you two. Totally geek chic. Sup? Hey, McBee. You missed a hell of a party last night. Junior and Ray Ray say what's up. Ooh, I love Ray Ray. Where were you, man? Hey, someone's gonna work around here. Sure ain't gonna be me. <laughs> you know, you really could wear a shirt like McBee's. We preferred if Michael drinks at home where we know he's safe. And when he gets really buzzed, you should see him play Pictionary. It's a riot. You know, it's not too late for you to have this kind of relationship with Bobby. Yes, it is. Hank, all you gotta do is be Bobby's friend. If not, who is he gonna turn to when he's in trouble? He won't even need to turn. We'll be right there, bam, in his face with a brick wall of rules, limitations, and discipline. My parents were a wall. I want to be a door that leads to a world of experiences. Well, what kind of... You know, I think we are all saying the same thing here. No, we're not. Nothing they say makes any sense. Look, the kids really like each other. I know. Why don't we all take them out? Together. Hey, there's a great... I'm picking the place. This place is so uncool. Jen and Tad freaking shawl, get down. Nancy, McBee, what are you doing in an ice cream parlor? I mean, we're just here so Tad can use the toilet. Go ahead, honey. Our kids are on a date. We're chaperoning. Chaperoning. Um, nice job, Ronald Reagan. Hey, don't call me that. Yeah, don't call him that. Oh, <laughs> this must be so humiliating for Jordan. My Serena's getting ready for her limo ride with her high school friends, sophomores. We were saving up to rent Jordan a limo for her birthday, but she thought it was a little played out. She wants a slumber party. A slumber party. Good old-fashioned favorite. With all the girls and boys in her class. Huh. That's very progressive. I think maybe we'll let Serena go. Well, that was so exciting, I did not know what was going to come next. I know Jordan would love it if Bobby could come to her slumber party. We'll be serving tapas. <laughs>